everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you a few things about my golden birthday. So if you want to know those things, then keep on watching. So recently I had my golden birthday and it was great fun. I had a party, there was a bounce house. There are too many kids in my family to not have a bounce house. It was fun, there were yard games, there was great food. We had a lot of fun, a lot of chatting. It was mostly just my family and a couple of my friends. But it was great, I loved it, every second of it. So I thought it would be fun if I showed you a few of the things that I got for my birthday. Sound good? Okay, first things first, the mother. My mom got me this really cute t-shirt dress. It's a navy and it has flowers. You may have seen a dress that looks like it in a casual cosplay. We went shopping together and then she saw that I liked this dress. Naturally, I got the black one. Then she got me this one for my birthday. Isn't my mom just the greatest? This dress is so comfortable and it has pockets. I could live in this dress all day. Next, my dear friend Ashley. She got me a lot of really awesome things and it's amazing because the two of us, we always end up talking about Supernatural, Harry Potter, and Marvel. We talk about a lot of different things, like Doctor Who, we're both Whovians. But those are the three things that we always end up talking about. Oh, and Hamilton. She got me this awesome Marauder's Cup, which I have been loving and using like crazy lately. And it's gold, I mean, come on, it's perfect. Golden birthday, golden cup, Marauders. I love the Marauders, I love Harry Potter. It's awesome and I've wanted a cup like this for a really long time, so it was perfect. Another Harry Potter thing she got me was a lanyard for my keys. It comes with a Gryffindor keychain and it came with a Gryffindor sticker, which is awesome. And my favorite thing about it is that it doesn't just say brave or courage, which are synonyms by the way, and Gryffindors, we are so much more than just brave or courageous. Chivalry and daring are also things that we value, you know? Just Another thing that she got me was this cute little supernatural necklace. How cute is that? I love it. It's so simple. I love simple jewelry. It has the Impala, the anti-possession symbol, and just a bar that says CAS 2i5, which is the original license plate of the Impala. And I, I love it. It's just so simple and so cute and supernatural and something I could wear and people probably wouldn't even know. And I love those kinds of things to wear in public. And it's perfect and I love it. Thank you so much, Ashley, for all the gifts you got me. I love them so much. Next is my friend Lauren. She got me a pretty stellar gift. She knows me pretty well. It's perfect. First things first, Oreos. She got me Oreos. I mean, and not only that, she got me my favorite kind of Oreo, which yes, is Oreo. But what were you expecting from the girl whose favorite flavor of ice cream is vanilla? What more were you expecting from me? I'm basic. I love just the plain Oreos, and she got me Oreos for my birthday, and it was awesome. For any of you who are wondering, I now have six things of Oreos in my house. Six. She also got me Ember in the Ashes, which has been on my TBR pile forever. And we we talk about this a lot, Lauren and I do. So I, just, the fact that she just got it for me was just awesome. I mean, Oreos and a book. That's like a perfect gift right there. Oreos and a book. She knows me. She knows me. It's great. It's great. Now we're moving on to what Caleb got me for my birthday. I know you guys are wondering and it's awesome. I love what he got me for my birthday. It's just the greatest thing ever. First things first, he got me this t-shirt. How cute is that? It's literally just black and then it has fun sleeve. I love this long sleeve t-shirt. It is just so soft and it's so simple and it's just exactly what I needed and I wanted it for so long and he finally got it for me. He got me something to go with that awesome t-shirt and it's been something I've been wanting to get for myself for a while but I couldn't justify getting it because I already had one and yes, I needed a replacement for it but I had a hard time justifying buying one. So he got it for me and that is a new leather jacket. How cute is this leather jacket? I mean, it has a normal hoodie version to it, and it's just awesome. Cause it looks like it has layers. It looks like you're wearing just 
a jacket and then a leather jacket and it's so cool and it has these little things on the top and it has these little pockets and it has them on the sleeve and it's so comfortable and I love it and it fit perfectly and it's, you know, I really love it and it's gonna look awesome with that t-shirt. He got me boots. I love these boots because they're zipper boots but they're tie boots and they have a little pocket here and they have these clasps right here and they're black. That's like a whole outfit that he got me there basically. Something else that you will also see on that outfit are my new headphones. I love these headphones. I have been wanting some Beats forever because they are Bluetooth and I don't like wires and I wanted these ones specifically because they are all black. You may have noticed black's my favorite color. Black's kind of my vibe, it's, it's my thing. And so I wanted headphones that were black because they would go with pretty much everything I own but I wanted them to all be black. I didn't want the logo sticking out in silver like it is on most things. So these ones, they, they're all black. And they're really comfortable and they fold and they have their case and their battery lasts forever. I would know because I have been using them for all the time. And it's just great. No, they're great. They're awesome and I love them so much. Now you're probably thinking, Marion, he didn't get you anything fandom related, and he's like the biggest champion of your fandom. But he did. Oh, he did. I was just saving the best for last. These were the things I opened up first, and I, like everything else was just the perfect cherry on top of the cake because it was awesome. I love them so, so, so much. And they go great with the whole vibe of this outfit. It's awesome, I love it. He got me the angelic rune necklace. I have been wanting these, I have been wanting one of these for forever. I have the parabatai necklace, but I have wanted the angelic rune necklace because it is the symbol of shadow hunters and I love it so much. It's great. Last but not least, and actually my favorite thing that he got me. And I mean, like, I love all of these things. This one is just perfect. I've wanted it for ages, and he got it for me, and it blew me away. And that is Izzy Lightwood's pendant necklace. And to me, this necklace is way more than just Izzy Lightwood's necklace. It is in the Infernal Devices, it is connected to Magnus Bane, and Magnus is my favorite character. I love Magnus so much. The history of this necklace is just, one of my favorite things ever. I, I get giddy every time I see this necklace on the show and it looks the same on the movie. And it just, it, this necklace brings me so much just fangirling joy. And so I'm so glad that I have one of my own finally and I love it so much and I will be wearing it a lot. So prepare yourself to see these two necklaces a lot because I will be wearing them a lot. That's it for all the gifts that I have now that I can show you. A lot of my family members got me the same gift for my birthday. For my birthday, I decided to donate my birthday basically to, to write love on her arms, which means I basically, I asked my friends and family on Facebook and I talked about it on Instagram and Twitter, so if you follow me there, which you should, you already know, but I asked, instead of giving me money, which I'm just gonna spend on books, would you please donate that money to, to write love on her arms? Because I feel like that would make my birthday even more special. And it's something I really care about. And I know it will do some good. I was so touched that so many of my family members were so willing to just give to To Write Love in Her Arms for my birthday because it was something that I really wanted to do and so thank you again for everybody who donated to To Write Love in Her Arms. It was amazing and it made my birthday even more special. I felt so happy knowing that you cared and that we were doing some good in the world and that we were helping an organization that is really important and thank you so much for that. So that concludes the haul part of this video. Next, I'm going to show you how to make some of the drinks that I had at my birthday party. They are all soda related. So if you want to know how to make my signature drinks, which are named after people, then come with me. Okay, let's go. Welcome to my kitchen. I hope you guys can see everything, all right? So I made 10 drinks total. 
and I'm going to be showing you guys what flavors and what sodas go into them and what their names are because I named them because I'm extra like that. Okay, first ones first is called the Marion. It is named that because it is my three flavor favorites in my favorite soda. The flavors are mango, peach, and vanilla, and the soda is a Dr. Pepper. I'm going to show you what they look like without the sodas first. So in all of these, except for a couple of them, you just do one pump of each flavor that I tell you. No surprise, is a Bucky Barn. This one took me forever to figure out, and it is blood orange, passion fruit, and vanilla. This next one's one of the tricky ones. It's called a Gryffindor, and you need to do half pumps on these three flavors and a full pump on this one, or else these ones are going to make you want to die. Just kidding, no, it's just really, really strong. So you have to do half pumps on the, on the cinnamon, the caramel, and the toasted marshmallow, but you can do a full pump of vanilla. I tried to make it taste as I felt the common room would smell. Not a lot of people like this, but I do. I think it's awesome. go with Dr. Pepper. These are the only Dr. Pepper drinks. The next one is my favorite. It's called a Magnus Bame. It's my favorite because it's the one that sparked this idea. I saw someone do a Magnus Bame cocktail. I don't drink. So I wanted to do a Magnus Bame soda and I wanted it to be purple because I don't know why but every time I think of Magnus Bame I think of purple. So uh, that's literally why I started doing these things and naming them after fictional characters or other things because Magnus Bane. Pomegranate, blueberry, and blue raspberry. I wanted to give you guys a close up of what it looks like. See how that color isn't really, it's not purple. It's not purple at all. Are you serious right now? Okay. But watch them. Look at how purple this is. Can you see how purple it is? I can see. It's dark purple. It's awesome. Next one is called a Dean Winchester. I wanted this one to match his eyes. So it is vanilla and green apple. You do two pumps of green apple and one of vanilla. Also green apple, kind of like pie. That's why I add the vanilla, because I'm trying to make it taste like pie. Love me some pie. This next one is called Angel Eyes. I did it on a whim, and I noticed it was really blue, like Alec Lightwood's eyes, but also really blue, like Castiel's eyes. And what do those two people have in common? They are related to angels. One is an angel and one is a Nephilim, which is half angel. So I call it Angel Eyes. And it is blueberry and vanilla. Look at how blue that is. Isn't that just the greatest thing ever? This next one's called a Hamilton. Yeah. It is orange, passion fruit, and mango. This next one's called a Persephone. Now, I love Persephone and Hades, and I love the lore of Persephone, and so I wanted to do one based off of her. And we all know that if you do Persephone, you have to have pomegranates, because pomegranate seeds are important to your story. So I have pomegranate, but I also have peach, because it's a nice color, and I really like peach, and it just, you know, reminds me of happiness, and she is the goddess of spring and flowers, and also the queen of the underworld. like a rich, dark pink color. This next one was originally called Murder because when you mix blood orange and pomegranate, it's a dark red and it looks like blood. But then I changed its name to Michelson because the Michelsons use a lot of blood. And I feel like they're always covered in it somehow. Do you see 
that? That is a dark red. It looks like blood. This last one is called Doc Holiday, and it only has one flavor in it, and that is Huckleberry. In the movie Tombstone, Doc Holiday says a line, and it has the word Huckleberry in it, and it is my favorite, and he is my favorite. So, all I do for a Doc Holiday is put in two palms of Huckleberry. That's literally it. So this is it. These are all the drinks that I made for my golden birthday. And here you go. This is what all of my drinks that I made for my birthday look like. You should try them and tell me which one is your favorite. I think that they're all pretty awesome. This one, the Magnus Main, is my favorite. But only because I feel like I'm actually doing magic when I make it. That is it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment below some other videos that you would like to see me make or just chat with me. You can also chat with me on my other socials, which you should go check out. And don't forget to subscribe because next week is another Tea Time Talk. And I really like this topic. And I think you might too, especially if you like this drink. So I hope you stick around for that so that I can see you next week. Bye. I love Magnus Bane. Yeah, spot on. I am so good at this. Ah, I should do this for a living. Oh, squirrel. It's back. I like squirrels. Oh, hi, squirrel.